Father. In practically all things, based on what you know, don't you think I am the one who should emerge king? What did you say? Are you also scheming to become king? Be very careful with your choice of words, young man. What do you mean? I was born into royalty. And I have lived in royal circle all my life. I understand practically everything. Why would you say I have been, uh, uh, whether I am scheming to be king? I was born a king. Are you serious? Please, sir, sorry to ask, King of Berlin's Kingdom. I will call you right back. Just, I will call you now. Young man, sit back here and wait for me. I want to understand exactly what is running through that end of yours. Let me just take care of this business very quickly. Why are they all interested in the truth? Is there something about this room that I don't see? Listen, if you like the land, go ahead and pay. 100 million naira is the last price for that land. Once I receive the credit alert, I will dismantle all the security structures we have set around the land. You can move in and take over. In fact, you can start work immediately. Let me put it mildly. I am the owner of this kingdom. I am the one who sits at the helm of all the land deals in this land. And anyone I supervise is sealed. Uh -huh. Say what you want to say, I'm listening. Uh -huh. I, will, I will call you back. Sonia! Uncle, hope no problem. No problem at all. You look extremely glamorous. I must confess. Thank you. Uh, not so fast. Uncle, I'm in a hurry. I'm going to a very important meeting. Hey, listen to me. You are the princess of this kingdom. I don't know why you're avoiding me. You are supposed to benefit from the revenue we have in this land. Or are you claiming you don't know I'm the one in charge of kingdom revenue? Why are you not, why are you not coming close? Really? I thought you men said women are not part of the kingdom revenue. Who said? Why are you listening to people? Am I the one in charge? Did I exclude you? You are the one avoiding me. And that is not fair at all. Listen, tomorrow, I want you to come to my place. I need to make you a part of the revenue structure of this kingdom. In fact, there are important documents I, I need to show you. Ooh. Yes. That sounds great. What time? Um, around 11 a.m. When my wife is not there. You know... She has a way she behaves. And I wouldn't want her to behave that way. You know, she wouldn't like to see me showing you crucial revenue documents. I just want us to handle it in a mature way. So come by that time. Okay. Okay, eh? Uncle. I'll be there. You need to be there. Thank you. <laughs> look at this, look at this mother. This girl has become something else right under my nose. Hey! Where is she? Where is that criminal? That vagabond! That good for nothing, useless idiot of a son! Where is he? Your Majesty, why are you shouting? Where is that criminal? Where is your son? Which of my sons? You should know the one that could get me mad like this. Where is that criminal of a son? What has he done this time? That crackhead stole the document of the land on the express. What? I just got a confirmation from the land office that he has sold the land. My goodness. Who could have assisted him do that? I know that Leonard on his own cannot do it. That is irrelevant. Where is your son? Where is he? Well, 
I don't know. I've not seen him this morning. I am really surprised at myself. How come I have not been looking? Look at you, Sonia. Beautiful daughter of my brother. You have indeed become a goddess. <laughs> and a man like me will not want to worship in your temple just once. I want to worship in your temple for the remaining days of my life. Do you have a problem with that? I don't know what to say, but at least, thanks for the compliment. Good. Please, can you come and sit down and tell me what you want to take? I'm fine here. Thank you. Um, can we please go to the business that brought me here? Even your voice descends like morning dew. Sonia, you are a total package when it comes to the classification of feminine beauty. And it will actually... Uh, please, uncle, wait. Since when did this sudden familiarity start? Well, I sense the confusion. But if you permit me, I am going to make you understand everything right now. Understand what? Where is the document relating to the kingdom revenue you asked me to come and see? Sonia, right here in this living room right now, there is something mightier than all the documents on planet Earth. That thing is you. How do you mean? <laughs> I promise you on my honor to make you a leading force in the revenue structure of this kingdom. You know it yourself that I am the one in charge of kingdom revenue. I will make you a leading force and you will have enough money to do whatever you want. I just want you to come up to my level. Understand what I want us to do. You know, like too much of people. We can. What are you talking about? Look at her. Beautiful Sonia. You know, I... I want you to be my girl. I want you to grant me unhindered access into all the departments of your body. You know what I'm talking about? I will make you richer than you are right now. <laughs> money. Money we speak in a clear language. If only you will agree. Have you lost your mind? What? I'm talking money. <laughs> With all this rubbish you have said and done, You've confirmed that you also want to sleep with me. What? What is wrong with all of you in this family? Yeah, I don't know who else is interested. I can only speak for myself. Listen, Sonia. A beautiful woman like you, going into a relationship with your uncle, is something that is, is commonplace. You don't see it as something that never happened before. It has been happening. It only becomes an abomination when we are careless with our operations and people know this. But with your exposure, with everything about you, I know you have what it takes for us to start it and actually keep it a secret. You are so disgusting and stupid. Really? In your life, do not make this useless mistake again. For you won't like the way I will handle it. Shhh! 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 It is not always the best to resist me. Because I am going to involve a lot of things in it. How did you find out? I got a call from Donatus. He told me what happened. But how did he know? He works on the Ministry of Lands, remember? Leonard sold the land that I wanted to give to Sonia to set up a, a, a fashion office. 
So what do we do? How do we retrieve this land from the buyer before he builds on it? The only thing we can do now is to give the buyer the money that he gave to that fool. Why? Anything to the contrary will see Liu end up in prison. He forged a lot of documents, including raising fraudulent affidavits, just to sell the land. Who is selling all these fraudulent ideas to Leonard? Honestly, I don't know where I went wrong that such a useless boy ended up as my son. It's okay, father. You have to come down before your BP goes up again. You would come back to this house and when he does. She had the guts to insult me simply because I wanted to worship in her temple. Who does she think she is? Who? What are you busy thinking? A man of Enuago is in his house in Enuago thinking. How is that your business? You're my husband. And that automatically makes it my business. Well, I can confirm to you that what I am thinking has nothing to do with a wife or whatever a wife represents. You haven't done anything about it. Okay? Confirm to me that it is what you're thinking, and I will allow you to think some more. You can walk out on me for all I care. I will keep drumming it into your ears. You should be happy you married a woman like me. A woman who is ready to push you to greatness. Prove to me that you are ambitious, and I will let you be. Does it mean you are allergic to this? Why did you have to arrest my son? He is equally my son, you know it. A time must always come in a family where men will rise to the occasion and arrest any ugly situation. That is exactly what I have done. You arrested my son because he sold one miserable piece of land. Why have you not arrested Damien who has sold Practically half of Inuago. Sharon, I am not here for any useless argument. I wanted to pay back the money it took for the land, but not anymore. It must remain in police custody until it pays back the money. Why are you pretending as if you were not the one who planned everything? You give me the impression that you're a good boy. Meanwhile, you are the devil's incarnate. You were here and you watched them take your only brother away. Listen to me, Henry. I'll forget every other thing. But you see this wickedness you have exhibited to your brother. Don't allow her to kill you with her words. I'm glad that he's doing this. Come, there's something I want to show you. No, sir. Yes, I'm in his office right now. No, 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 he just stepped out. Hey, baby. What was that? 
Better stay. Who are you talking to? Oh, that was my friend Susan. Susan? Yes, Susan. Are you okay? Babe, is there a problem? Or you just don't believe me? Vivian. Baby, you just called me by my name. Are you cheating on me? No. Why would I do such? I mean, come on. Why would I do such to you? I'm not cheating on you. I'm not. You know who my father is, right? Yes, I do. Listen to me. I am a man who is exposed to all the dynamics of power. If something is not right in my thoughts, then it is not right in reality. Is there anything you're doing that is not right? <laughs> Baby, you're confusing me right now, and I, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. Yeah, don't. How exactly will I make him to start entering a woman like a proper man of a Nuago kingdom? Your food is served. Sit. I thought you said you're very hungry. Why not come and eat your food now that it's still hot? Tell us something else but ask me. And what could that be? Our son, Douglas. Since he started going out with women, why is it that we have never had a case where one of the women, at least one, came here to say our son has got her pregnant? Why? What kind of question is that? Very important question. Very, very important question. Are you by any means insinuating that our son is not man enough? I don't know if I'm insinuating here. I am just trying to be sure that our son enters women like a proper man of Inua good that he is. Please come and eat your food. I missed you. I miss you too. Thank God for coming into my life. You have no idea what I'm going through in the palace, especially from the hands of my brother Leo. What exactly is wrong with your brother? Why can't it just change for, for good, from one trouble to another? I don't know. Honestly, So, what's your father's plan? I mean, how long does he intend to have Leo locked up? I don't know. I don't know his state of mind. But I know he's still very angry. But the worst thing is, my mother thinks I advised my father to have Leo locked up. And how is that supposed to be a problem? Even if you advised him, is it not the best thing to do? That ill-mannered brother of yours is practically destroying everything. My mother does not see it from that perspective. She believes that the enemies of our family turned Leo into a drug addict just to get back at her. And one way or the other, she believes she would fix him. Well, that's an extreme angle. I don't know what to say. You'll be fine, my love, okay? Come here. <laughs> mm. Does it not mean anything to you that my son slept in a police custody? I have told you not to bother me with that irrelevant topic. I have told you. Are you kidding me? That your son slept in a police cell 
with hardened criminals. Is that what you call a relevant topic? What has come over you, Anthony? Sharon, I should be asking you that question. Your criminal of a son sold my property and all you could do is to support him. What kind of a mother have you become? And what kind of a father would allow his son sleep in a dingy police cell? A prince for that matter. He deserves to be in whatever condition he has found himself. He is a criminal. That he slept with his fellow criminals means nothing to me. As far as I'm concerned, he is a criminal. My son is not a criminal. Leonard is a criminal and you know it. You know what, Anthony? You must release him. Keep hoping. your text and I'm still wondering why are you doing this Uncle Damien we have no deal what you are making is an abominable request and I'm telling you here and now that if you keep on prodding me I'll be forced to open up to people are lying. There is nothing like revenue structure. You invited me to your house to show me some documents, which you never did. But that is because you never gave me the chance to show me documents. That's why I am now inviting you to just, you know, carry this hotel. I've sent you a test, you have the address already. Meet me there and then we can be playing as in class to the papers. I'm not going to meet you in any hotel. I'm really very angry with your father right now. He has refused to do anything towards bailing my son. Excuse me. You want him to be released just like that? Do you, do you know the exact land he sold? He sold the land my father wanted to give me for my fashion office. Oh, really? So because your father planned to give you that piece of land, my son should die there, right? Damien, who has become become a billionaire by selling every land in sight. Has your father arrested him? Mom, Uncle Damien is into land racketeering. He has been doing that before I was born. He has never sold any of the family property. <laughs> Why can't you see that what Leo did is different from what Uncle Damien has been doing? Sonia, it is so obvious that you have been brainwashed. Mom, nobody brainwashed me. <laughs> it is even uncharitable for you to Say such, such a thing. I'm telling you the truth. I know my father will bail him, but I am of the opinion that you should let him remain there, at least for him to learn some lessons. What? What is the meaning of this? It might interest you that your brother, Prince Damien, bailed my son. What? Why would he do that? I know you'll be confused and surprised, but deal with it. My major concern is my son. So let's go. Thanks a lot, sexy Sharon. Oh, sorry. Thanks a lot, Mom. Listen, I like the look on your face. Surprise, surprise. This is just the beginning. Bet. Come, Naka. Come. Have you seen the fool you went and brought out? Sharon, why are you daring me in this palace? Why? I am not daring you. I'm concerned about my son.
How dare you, Damien? How could you have done a thing like that? How could you? What is come over you, your majesty? Why are you shouting? How could you let the prince of this kingdom sleep in police custody? That is absolutely unheard of. That is dehumanizing. You shouldn't be saying that. Oh, like Damien, did you care to ask what he did? I am talking to you. Did you care to ask? Whatever he did is not worth it. He is a prince. He is a prince of this kingdom. Listen. Many people are already saying a lot of negative things about our family. And here you are, giving them chance to speak even some negative things anymore. I don't get it, Damien. Who are the people talking about our family? And what exactly are they saying? I am not in the mood to discuss that. News came to me that my own brother's son, a prince of this kingdom, was arrested and was abandoned in the police custody by his own father. I went to that place as a nobleman of this kingdom to take him on bail because I know Leaving him in that, in that criminal infested environment is a dent on our image as a family. I should be commended. And here you are shouting. You should be commending me. Anything to the contrary is unacceptable to me. And you did that without consulting me. And you dumped him there without consulting me. Who should be talking, please? We shall see about that. You don't even know what is coming to you. You don't know. By the time I am done with you, it will hit you like a tsunami. We are at the palace now. Leo has gone into the restroom. Your husband just left here now. You won't believe how angry he was that I bared his own son from police custody. Was it not the same thing I told you? Anthony has changed. He's a totally different man. I don't know why he has become this mean. Are you coming over anytime soon? Coming over to do what? I hope you don't think this is permanent. I did what I did for my son. That is what you think, Sharon. Well, let me tell you. You have, you have, you have started something that will make you become bigger than you are now. Like I told you already, my daughter has gone back to school and my wife is not going to come back till around 5 to 6 p.m. We have all the time, so just come, come over. I am not going to waste time. It will not be today, maybe some other time. Are you not going to give it to me when I want it? I have an appointment with one bishop who has been calling me. I promise to see him today. You know, I don't like disappointing people. Oh, um, I will call you back later. Let me attend to my son. Oh. Oh. Mom, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. You're always welcome, son. You know I will always be there for you. I know. And you know I will always be there for you too. You're special to me. Thank you. Well, son, I have been meaning to ask you this question. And I think this is the best time to ask. Why did you do it? Why did I do it? Why did you sell your father's land in that manner? Mom, all right, I was, I needed money at that point, and selling that land was the only option. But I thought I told you to always ask me for money whenever your father and brother refused to give you. Mom, I can't continue disturbing you with my problems. I'm a man. And you know you're special to me. I know, but... Mom, I'm back, and that's what matters. Let me show you the new dance I learned in cell. What? It's all good every morning now. Oh, no, no, Something no. No. <laughs> no. Mom, don't worry, let me teach you. You might need it somewhere. This is the latest one, though. This is what we dance every morning in cell. No 
matter how good a cook is, you will never get to know the real taste of the soup with one muscle of pandadia. You have to swallow and swallow and swallow for the test to register in your mouth. That woman must not think of provoking me by giving me just that once. Once is not good for an issue like me, and she knows it. I will take it by force. <laughs> because of what you did, I have already forgiven your daughter. So don't provoke me. Don't just provoke me. I don't get it. My father bailed him. Yes, that's it. Did anyone bother to find out why my father would go to the police station to bail Leon? I don't know. But the honest truth is that I am very happy. Because my mother stopped talking to me for some time now. Believing that I asked my father not to release him. Yeah, I understand that part. But I'm wondering, why would my father interfere? I am not saying I wished Leo had remained there, but why would my father come to his rescue? Maybe he just wanted to help. When you talk like this, you readily give yourself away as someone who doesn't know Damien. He is crooked, weird, and perhaps evil. Don't say that, Douglas. Why would you say such derogatory things about your father? Harry, I have related with him closely since I was a child. And trust me, I know him inside out. There must be a reason he bailed you. It can never be because he cares. He doesn't care about you one bit. What do you want to drink so I get it for you? You can grab me whatever you want to give me. Man. So, this is why you've been disturbing my phone? Asking me to come and see you so you can tell me this rubbish? Your Majesty, what I just told you is an undiluted message from God. He gave you a precious gift to wipe your tears. And now you've turned around to despise that gift. God is not happy with you. Bishop, truly. I don't know what you're talking about. Your God is not my God. So that message is not for me. Listen, Your Majesty. I advise you take whatever I tell you. Because it is directly from God. I didn't invite you here to make a request. I mean, I didn't invite you here to donate money to the church. No, I called you here because it's important. And I just told you that I am not interested. Bishop, you would do me a favor. Please, delete my number from your phone and don't you ever call me again. Are you serious? Well, take, before you start accusing me of being stingy, use it. No, this money must live with you. Excuse I don't need it. I didn't ask for it, please. You are rejecting a gift of love? Listen, Your Majesty, this show of love to me is immaterial. Since you failed to show the same love to that precious gift from God, let me quickly advise you. Try as much as possible to solve this problem now, before it is too late. A Latin maxim says, Tempus fugit non regamus est. Time flies, it waits for no one. Your Majesty, solve this problem before it consumes you. I'm sorry, Dad, but you're not answering the question. 
Why did you do it? You are the same person who has been urging me to do the right things. And finally, I decided to do the right thing, and this is what I get from you. I am your son, and I know you very well. Douglas, you don't know me. And you are very silly to stand before me to allege you know me. You know me. Go on, Mambo. I believe there is something beneath this help you offer to the queen. She is not the queen. Your mother is the one that should be the queen. Don't forget that. Your permutations, Dad. Today, my mother is no queen. Sharon, the wife of the king, is the queen I know. And you that I know could not help that woman without something underneath. What is it, Dad? It is so clear you are drunk. That's why you could stand before me with your two hands stuck in your miserable pockets. And you are telling me this? You are drunk. Take your drunkenness to somewhere else before I scare you alive. You're telling me off by calling me a drunk because you know I am gradually unmaxing the truth. You are, right? very, you are very silly to say that. What do you know about the truth? Look at this idiot. Listen to me. Let this be the very last time you will interfere in anything that concerns me. Try it one more time and you will discover how angry your father can get. Now for the very last time, get out of my face. I can see disappointment written all over your face. Mm -hmm. You thought I would rot in that cell, but guess what? You are too small, Ipeka. Guess what? See this bomb bomb? I'm banging on it non-stop tonight. We're turning this palace upside down. See this? You see this one? I will bring her close to your door. You will be hearing wah, 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 till morning. You won't sleep. Just to shame you. Can we go already? No. Let me finish with this pathetic accountant that has counted nothing all his life. Is he not your brother? He is my brother, but a useless one. Very useless brother. Listen, Henry, you can only try. Yes, you can only try and try. But one thing is for sure, I will always shame you. Now listen to me, Leo. The person that did this to you is very heartless. Can't you just say no to this useless substances you take? I don't need your advice. Keep it for yourself. Take your preaching elsewhere. Baby, let's go, darling. You will not sleep there. I know Bishop Okunka to an extent. To the extent that he has the right to dabble in two people's affairs? That I don't know. But you would have given him a listening ear. You shouldn't have walked out on him. Hello? Sonia, I did not tell you for you to become a judge. I know what I did. Thank you. It's okay. I actually came to make a case for Chimendu. I was told you eventually fired her. And she remains fired. Sonia, please. 
I don't want to discuss a useless girl. A useless girl? But mom, we both agreed that she should be forgiven. And then I caught her again today with Leo. You know what? I asked the stupid girl to prepare something for me to eat before leaving to see the bishop. Then somehow, something asked me to go to the kitchen. When I got there, I caught both of them red-handed. And you fired her. It's obvious Liu must have gone into the kitchen to distract her. Sonia, please, don't preach to me. That was the same girl I told to let me know whenever Liu harasses her. But no, she did not tell me anything. Rather, she was busy enjoying my son. Sorry, I don't want to continue with this line of discussion. <laughs> Sincerely, I don't understand this. You were the one who complained that you do not understand Vivian. I mean, it is obvious this girl is not serious. Why are you complaining she's not picking your calls? Cindy, I love this girl. I love her so much and she knows I cannot do without her. Why is she doing this to me? Brother, from experience, when a man loves a woman more than the way she loves the man, <laughs> there is problem. It go hard. That relationship no fist stand. I'm telling you the truth. This girl, um, is not obvious. I mean, it's obvious she doesn't love you. I don't want anybody using my brother. No woman will use you. Oh, please, Cindy, be more charitable with your words. Who told you she's using me? It's not obvious. It's obvious. You can see it yourself. Bros, I'm begging you in the name of God. Please, you need a woman who will love you. A woman that will value you. That is the kind of woman you should be looking for, not Vivian. I don't even know why I'm here talking this with you. <laughs> wow. I'm so impressed, my dear. Now I know my daughter is ready to become a wife. You know so much about relationship. Where did you learn from? Mommy, I am disappointed at you. Would you eavesdropping dropping on our conversation? Huh? Mother, if I say I am not confused, then I lie. You hate me so much to the extent that you no longer conceal it. What have I done wrong? Tell me, I can make amends. Well, son, I guess I have to correct a false impression here. I don't hate you. I don't believe you. Mother, no day passes by without you raining curses on me. And oftentimes I, I wonder why a mother would do that to her son. Well, Henry, I am sorry if you misunderstood my veiled admonitions as curses. The truth is that I have a problem with your father. And because you support him in everything he does, it's only natural that you will drink from my pool of aggression. What is the problem? If it's something I can solve, I, I promise you I'll solve it immediately. Mm -hmm. There is no point telling you because I know you will not. Let me hear what the problem is. Please. Okay. 
I want you to fire the manager that is occupying my son's office right now. Because I want my son to go back to his managerial post. You're speechless, auntie. You see what I mean? That means I've been right all this while. Mother, you know what the problem is. Leo is, is not capable. He will only end up liquidating that thriving business. Get out of my face. And never in your life should you ever meet me to discuss anything. Mother, you better get, get out! You selfish animal. And let me tell you something. For humiliating your brother, I will deal with you in this family. Trust me. Get lost. Why weren't you picking my calls? Babe, uh, I, was, I was in the middle of the interview. I, I couldn't have picked your calls. And you expect me to believe that, huh? Babe, you need to believe me. That's what happened. Besides, I, I tried calling you back and you weren't speaking my calls. Vivian, I'm going to ask you this again. Are you cheating on me? No, baby. I'm not cheating on you. And I wouldn't think of doing such. Don't you trust me again? My father does not like me that much. But if you ask him, and he is willing to tell you the truth. He will tell you that I will always find out the truth, no matter how people choose to conceal it. Babe, so what has that got to do with me? What business do I have with your dad? Why should I go ask him questions? Why? I am only making a reference. Oh, okay. There is a truth buried somewhere, begging to be unraveled. And trust me, I must unearth it. I want to be able to love you more when I finally discover that you're telling me the truth and nothing but the truth. Baby, see, you need to trust me, okay? I, I love you so much. Come here. <laughs> trust me. It's okay. Sharon, I don't like the rubbish I heard. Is it true? I don't know what you heard. You fired my big children without my consent. True or false? You're so stupid to ask me such a question. How dare you take a woman in the kitchen? You have to be careful. My friend, come back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How dare you walk out on me? Why did you buy my bed? Two and two. Huh? Are you completely out of your mind? Have you lost your respect and manners for authorities? How dare you push me like that? You're talking about this. Hey! Ah! Are you out of your mind? You know, you raised your hand on her mother? Do you know what she did? Do you know what she did? This woman here once slapped me in my room. Why? Because she saw children in my bed in my room. I don't have this kind she of thing. She slapped me because she's the one that hired her. Now she had the effort to fire my bed without my consent. Can you imagine? As long as I am consent, she has the right to slap you over and over and over again if you do not take your time. Listen, you are a man, you don't understand. That baby's good. You know what she does to me in bed? You know what? I will not. You should understand. I will not descend to your level standing here and talking this nonsense with you. Listen, if you people don't bring back my children, too, there will be no peace. In fact, you people should bring back my babe or someone better, else there will be no peace in this palace. Do you know what that girl does to me? Yeah. 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 So the same person she wants to run the company, wants to beat her up. You needed to have seen what happened back there. If I hadn't come on time, she would have beaten the living daylight out of her. And what did she do after you saved her? Nothing. 
She could not even acknowledge my timely intervention. And I am not bothered. Sometimes I feel you are too good to come from that woman. How do you mean? Both of you are like two repelling magnets. The woman is bereft of conscience. I don't even know how to say what I want to say. Then what will you say about Sonia? Is she not a complete departure from the same wicked woman? Let's just say we are unfortunate to have such a wicked woman. Right now, I see her as a cross I must carry. So based on what she said, are you going to oblige her and restore Liu to his position in the company? That is not my decision to make. But I would confirm to you immediately that my father will not hear of it. If this is the only condition they want peace, then I am afraid they are not ready for peace. Okay. You said you've forgiven me because of my mother. What does that mean? It means nothing. Listen to me, Sonia. I am holding this meeting outside here with you because it is clear to me it does not make any sense taking you inside where you will not be of, of, you, of any use. So say whatever you want to say now, here, now, and go back to your father's compound. I don't have time for heartless women like you that will never help anyone with what God has given them freely. And it's over. You are now hostile to me because I refuse to open myself to you. What makes you think I will have anything to do with my uncle? Who is interested in you? Is it me? That must be in your dream. Look at this one. I don't even see you. You are only a child, and I'm telling you here and now that very soon you will come face to face with challenges that will make you regret ever insulting a man like me. I never insulted you. I only said I wasn't going to do what you asked me to do. And I'm telling you now, keep it. You don't want to do it. Keep it. And I, I, don't, I don't want it to. But let me tell you something, Sonia. No matter what happens, the lion will never descend to the level of chewing grass. It must be flesh. For the lion has an insatiable test for flesh. Blood. The lion is a bloody animal. Are you claiming you don't know that? Even my father has never been interested in your proverbs. They have nothing to do with me. I only came here to say thank you for going out of your way to bear my brother. It shows that behind the facade of that evil heart that spills intimidation, deceit and wickedness lies a, a good and kind-hearted man. Thank you so much. I, I, I owe you one. Mugena Sulebo. Mugena Golavo. Well, I am happy she has come to realize that she owes me one. And I'm waiting here for the day she will decide to come and pay it. Because she must pay it and I must accept it. Yeah? Tell me the truth, Mom. Is it what I'm thinking? I don't know what you're thinking. Therefore, I cannot answer that question. Uncle Damien has been on my case for months now. In fact, he wants to sleep with me. And he has been very emphatic. What did you just say? You heard me right, Mom. He has made passes at me. And has made direct requests. Including asking me to meet him in a hotel. And I refused. Then finally, he tells me he has forgiven me because of my mother. I think I know what that means. And what do you think it means? Mom, did you sleep with him? I beg your pardon! Is that why he bailed you? Sonia, 
you are a fool for nurturing such thoughts. And for even believing that it happened, I forbid you. I forbid you from saying such a demeaning thing to me. Well, why are you flaring up? I just asked a question. No, young lady. You did not ask a question. You made a conclusion. Like I said, I forbid you from saying such a demeaning thing about me. You are such a liar. I gather she was here last week. Why didn't you mention it to me? Who was here last week, please? Sharon. She was here. My man did saw her when she entered and when she left. That woman, from what I was told, spent like an hour in my house. What did she come here to do? Stella, you have just created an impression that I must have to dismantle immediately. This house, you have just called your house, is not your house. Was never your house and will never be. This is my house and I am a titled man of this land. I have both the traditional and the legal rights to host anyone in my house. Okay? Noted, sir. Thank you. Why was she here? Well, she came to submit to my authority. That's one. And then she came to plead with me to assist her bail her drug addict of a son from police custody. Do you think she would just come and leave without settling down to thoroughly explain what she wants? I am not just a man. I am the pot that is boiling in this kingdom and those that know me don't take me for granted. And the princess, what did she come here to do? She came to thank me for helping her mother. Oh, but, but by the way, what kind of useless interrogation is going on in my house? Are you interrogating me or what? <laughs> Prince Damien here. I am the port that is boiling in this kingdom. May I know why you are calling, please? Ever doing anything with you? You are talking to the man of Imago who has been exposed to all the dynamics of traditional... Why would you say a thing like that? I am a man who has been exposed to all the dynamics of traditional powers and authority. How could you call me and your son in that way? Yet you have the guts to call yourself a man who has been exposed to the dynamics of power. What kind of useless power do you think you have? Uh, you know what? I will meet you tomorrow in the office and we can iron this thing out. Hey, do, do you know what? Can you please calm down? Let us meet tomorrow in my office and then I will explain everything to you. But let me tell you something. I never mentioned anything to anybody and tomorrow in the office, I am going to prove it. And why are you looking at me as if I'm a stranger you're meeting for the very first time? Is that not what you have become? What? Are you not a complete stranger to me right now? Who was that caller? Oh, a caller that was talking of plenty of money. <laughs> money. Don't worry, I will meet him up in the office tomorrow and we are going to see the deal and bring home the money. Or oh, are you not telling me you have a problem with money? Please. <laughs> money, money, money. Stop. <laughs> I regret ever doing anything with you. You are talking to the man of Imago who has been exposed to all the dynamics of traditional powers and authority. Why would you say things like that? Why would you tell my daughter what we did? Are you this useless? Yet you have the guts to call yourself a man who has been exposed to the dynamics of power. What kind of useless power do you think you have? Uh, you know what? I will meet you tomorrow in the office and we can iron this thing out. But listen, my dear. Calm down. I said nothing to anyone and tomorrow I will prove it. God.
have I suddenly become a ghost that you cannot see me? You cannot attend to me? Why are you behaving as if you did not hear what I just said? Oh, Sharon. Why can't you allow me to have a moment of peace? Why? There is a successor I want you to name. Go ahead and name him. Then you will have all the peace in the world. Wait a minute, Sharon. Are you sure you are still normal? Why are you behaving like a mad woman? Oh! Go ahead! Call me names, Anthony! I don't care! Name Leo, the heir to the throne. And that is the only condition for peace. And by that useless request of yours, you are confirming to me that you are the one that have been causing all the problems in this palace, right? Oh, please! Stop twisting things around. Anthony, I know that you know that I am trying to manage my temper. But I think this is the time to let it erupt. What is that supposed to mean, Sharon? Are you threatening the king? Sharon, do you want me to kill you before you know how to respect constituted authority? I am an authority myself in this kingdom. What is that? Why is it that you don't respect my views? Respect, they say, is reciprocal, remember. Sharon, define your boundary and stay by it. Do not provoke me beyond the limits that I could tolerate because I am going to roast you alive. Yes, I will. But don't ever bring up that topic again. What kind of a woman will be persistent in asking for the impossible? The same rascally idiot that almost beat her up today is the one she wants as successor? How is that even possible? Leo, be very careful. You are pushing me to the wall. If I don't, what will you do? Leo, I am your elder brother. You should respect me. Who gives a fuck? I'm my elder brother, who, who gives a fuck? Yo, do you want me to put you in prison and make sure you rot in there? Easier said than done. Have get out of my sight. You! I will slap you. Get out. Slap you! Ask me for You! Hargini, what is it? Huh? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Wait, 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 wait. What is that? Mom Leo is disrespecting me and I've had enough of it. Will you shut up? Henry, I said shut up! Who is your mother? Listen, I cannot put up with this again. I'm tired. I am not your mother. What? What, 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 what are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. I am not your mother. And let this be the last time you will disrespect my son. So you're a bastard. We're Neko. Cool. Let's go, sir. Ordinary bastard. Oh God! I want her. Why would she shoot herself in the leg? <sighs> you mean she told you that? Yes, father. And that is why I am here. I need you to explain to me what she meant. Sharon. Father. I am dying of curiosity. Please. She was very emphatic when she said she is not my mother. Please, Father. I need to know what that means. Sorry, Your Majesty. Such is life. 
life. Thank God you still have your life. You can still conceive again. Doctor, you will not understand. You will not understand. I don't understand. What about the woman that gave birth three days ago? Her son lived. Why she died? We don't even know where she came from. We're just hoping that the taxi man will come back. She was deeply in pain when the taxi man brought her here. The condition actually started inside the taxi. Before she got here, it was already too critical. The taxi driver left as soon as she took her in. When we got to the level room, the condition was already too bad. We only managed to save the child while the woman died. That's sad. And her people will be somewhere now wondering where she is. If you wait for one week, and the taxi driver doesn't show up. We'll hand him over to the authorities. We're only monitoring the child for a while. Let's know he's in good condition before we hand him over to the authorities. Let's adopt him. Adopt what? No! Please. This is an opportunity for us to have a child. Yes. Believe me when I said God himself planned this for us. I want to go home with our child. He's my husband. And I believe Doctor is educated enough to keep this as a secret. Please. Come on, Sharon. We can't still have another child. And what if we don't? Please. Do this for me. Nobody found out because we and the doctor kept it a secret. And the taxi driver never returned. I wasn't really in support of the idea. But I had to make the queen happy. We raised and loved you like our own. And I must say that you are a blessing. Because the queen was able to take in almost immediately and give birth to Leo and Sonia after we took you in as our own child. So it is true. Father, this is true. Oh, Aaron, I... Why is this happening to me? Uh, why? Uh, why? Uh, my son, I am very sorry. I never told you this. I never thought there would be a need for that. The Queen used to love you, and I am sure you are aware of that. I don't know what came over her lately. I still can't even believe that she revealed that to you. But I want you to know one thing. You will always remain my son till eternity. You know why? We performed all the rituals that made you a man of Inuago kingdom, including the killing of a he goat on the altar of Aqualiomomo, presenting you to the ancestors as a son. I did all that, so nothing changes. This is serious. So Henry is not my blood brother. Both of you are not related in any way. His roots and background are still unknown to the king and I. No wonder. No wonder I never liked him. Hmm. So I am the heir to the throne. Exactly what I've been trying to make you understand. The throne is yours. This is making more sense. I know. All hail the next king. King Leo the first of a Nuago kingdom. Interesting. Well, you have to keep it to yourself. Okay? 
Hey, mom, I can't wait. I will be the first young modern king, digital king. I will legalize so many things, trust me. Not so fast, son. Not so fast. For the meantime, I want you to keep it to yourself. Okay? Why? I'm the next heir. I need to celebrate. How could you, Sharon? How could you reveal the secret that we have been protecting for years? How could you, Sharon? I got tired of keeping it. So I decided to reveal it. Moreover, I can't stand here and watch that bastard yell at my son. And I will never stay and see him become king. Did you hear that, Pops? I'm the next... Oh, would you shut up? What do you know? I know nothing. But they just told me the truth. And I said you should shut your trap. Now let me warn both of you. This better not get to the ears of any other person. Not even Sonia. Is that clear? No, 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 Pops. Sonia is my blood and she deserves to know everything. I can't hide such thing from Sonia. This is an order from the revered king of Inuago Kingdom. Disobey and you will see the other side of me. And as for you, I don't know what to say to you yet. But just know that I am disappointed in you. Even God, I am certain, is disappointed in you for betraying that young boy. Now, what am I now? Disappointed in me because I spoke the truth? You betrayed the spirit of that innocent boy. Ha! He never begged to come with you. The doctor was determined to hand him over to the authorities. You were practically crying, begging, and he gave you that child. Up till this very moment, the doctor has kept to his own part of the agreement. You are the one who have betrayed everything. But I can assure you one thing. Posterity will never forgive you. Mom. Those are hard words. Don't mind him. Of course he knows that those words are not for me. All hail the next king. King Leo the first of a Nuago kingdom. The modern king. The digital king that will legalize so many things. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. If you know you want to be king, those are the things you have to stop. You will not understand. Sorry, baby, please. You will not understand. Would you have believed if I told you they are not my biological parents? Would you have believed? I wouldn't have believed. And I still find it hard to believe. <sighs> But it is not the end of the world. But then, Why? you're a man. Why? And you can live with that. Why? Why? God, this is too much for me to bear. No, oh, baby. Why? You can bear it. Why? I know this is too much. <laughs> and we don't know why God allowed what happened to happen. It is not for us to question him, but it is for us to find out why it happened. Please, baby. Where there is life, there is hope. There is and hope. life is supreme. <laughs> I'm sorry for everything, Mother. I must say I am grateful to you for all you have done for me. 
May God bless you abundantly. I want to let you know that I love you like my mother for all you have done for me since I was little. I suckled your breast at infancy and I love you so much. I am sorry for the pain that I have caused you. If there is anything, any way you want me to make amends, tell me and I would gladly oblige. Please, mother. Are you done? Mother. Mother. Stop wasting your time with that woman. I hate her. What is wrong, Julia? What do you mean by you hate her? Why? Uncle Damien has been sleeping with our mother. What? Can you live with that? Yo, what is wrong with you? Will you put your voice down? Do you know what you're talking about? How, how is that possible? Do I look like a baby? I know what I'm talking about. I'm waiting for father to return so that I can tell him everything. That woman fired my chewendo just because she was good to me. Don't tell me. So she needs to be fired for being so good to a character like Damien. When Sharon, you're here. You look dull. Cheer up, okay? Come on, cheer up. You have no reason to be sad. Yes. It's your life and we only live once. You owe nobody any explanation or apology. Really? Yes. What happened? Why the sudden change? Well, um, I sat back and asked myself a few questions and I've come to realize that you did nothing wrong. Yes. You even tried by sleeping with someone we did. That has not been touching you, I'm away. So you allowing his brother to touch you is, is no biggie. You're a woman for crying out loud. So cheer up and enjoy yourself. Wait, son. You made mention of a certain great man who knows what happened. Who is that great man? Mom, it's not necessary, okay? He's one of those fools that were confusing me, but I know better now. Mm. Mom, you've been by my side all my life. It's time for me to stand by you. And trust me, we are together on this. So cheer up, okay? <sighs> exactly the reason I want him to be king. His level of understanding is amazing and out of this world. I don't get it, Mom. He just denied that he never made passes at me and you believed him. Sonia, truly, I don't want to talk about this. Even if he did, the most important thing here is that it never happened. Please, let us not play into the hands of the enemies of our family. They will be happy that this whole thing is causing a lot of friction in our home. Why do I have this feeling that you have something going with that evil man? 
You must be a fool to even ask me such. Were you not the fool I asked to delete my number from your phone? Why are you still calling me? Woman, it has become clear to me that you are digging your grave. And I am putting it to you that you will be the one to be buried in that grave. Stop calling my number. I will not say this again. Is that not the bishop? What did he say? And what grave is he talking about? Is it not very clear that you're the one behind all this? Sonia, what are you going to gain? Son, I must thank you for your understanding. I am so glad. I appreciate. I also want to let you know that you will always remain my son. Nothing has changed and nothing will ever change. I appreciate father. But I also want to let you know that I have gotten myself a new apartment. A new apartment? Yes, dad. Henry, why new apartment? This place is yours. Besides, you are the general manager of the family business. I know that, father. I just want to leave here for now. Like you said, nothing has changed. I am still your manager and I was to, I was to take care of business. You can count on me. I just feel I would operate better from my new apartment. The woman I call mother may now attempt to kill me. I am sorry, Father, that's the way I see it now. Ari, you should know that nobody can kill you. No matter how hard the person tries. Listen, you are that son of mine that I have always protected. I joined you to our ancestors early enough, and you have remained on the path of honor. You are protected, my son. Do not be afraid of anyone. I'm happy to hear that again, Father. But I am sorry. My mind is made up. I'm still your son. Call me anytime you need me and I'll be here. I can't believe this. This is the fifth day and my son has not yet returned. And you're not even bothered. What do you want me to do, Sharon? You are talking as if you don't know Leonard. He may have gone to do drugs with his friends and God knows where. So what do you want me to do? Really? So this is all you have to say? It's all right. But let me remind you that Harry has moved out of this palace some days ago. And what is that supposed to mean? I will hold him responsible if anything should happen to my son. Henry is too decent to be involved in anything stupid. And nobody can succeed in making me believe otherwise. Not even you. Without missing words, Henry, I am going to be very direct. I am not happy that you left the palace. What are you talking about, Douglas? You want me to remain in the palace? When the only woman I call mother has become my number one enemy? I cannot go back to that compound. She would eliminate me. But you know that is not possible, my brother. You are the head prince in that palace. And even in the eyes of the people, you are a gift from the gods. Why would you leave the palace where you belong, where you have absolute authority, and come here to live a quiet life? 
Douglas, I have decided to face reality. I do not belong there. My background is unknown. I cannot continue to hold on to what I can never have. Leo is the first seed of the king. The heir apparent. I have decided to allow him to have what rightfully belongs to him. Even the Kato of Enuago will never allow Liu rule over them. That is the truth. The king has not denied you, and that is what matters. Henry, please, I beg you, come back to the palace. I went to see Bishop Okunka. What? You went to see that fool? Why? You don't need to ask me. I am very disappointed in you. Excuse me? You went and listened to that fool. Only for you to come back to tell me that you are disappointed in me. You are not moving an inch until you tell me what that idiot said about me. He said a lot. According to him, Leo may have been killed and that you should be held responsible if his death is ascertained. I'm finally beginning to think like getting married. What do you think? Your Majesty, please do something. Do something, Your Majesty. Please help me find my son. The remains of your so-called son is in the mortuary as we speak. What did you just say? You heard me. The police have recovered his corpse and they've deposited it in the mortuary. And investigations have commenced. For the very first time in a long while, You've moved like the snake you are. Mm -hmm. This is what you should have done long before now. Mm. Hmm? My sweet husband, I'm so proud of you. What a man will do is within the confines of his heart. I remember telling you that I had a plan. Now you know what I've been planning. <laughs> but you never told me you had anything to do with his disappearance. And that is because a man is expected to be circumspect with his utterances. <laughs> At least now, Leo is dead. And the adopted son has run away because he knows he cannot be king. Good. So <laughs> it was you. So you are the evil brain behind all this. Son, it's not what you think. And even you, mom. You're part of this evil plan? Listen to me, son. Whatever we have done, we have done for our good. I want you to put sentiments apart and reason like a man. Please. What good? What? You killed your brother's son in your quest to be king? Why are you this heartless? Listen, son. I understand your concern. And I'm not going to blame you for that. But you need to understand one thing. Everything that happens is for a reason. Okay? I, I am interested in knowing this reason you hate your brother so much. You've never liked him as a brother, and it, it is so not right to me. Sit down. Now, Douglas, you listen. 
Anthony is my elder brother quite right. But I was the one, our father, King Anthony the First, groom for kingship. Anthony was nowhere to be found. In fact, he left for the United States when he was only 16. We never knew he would come back. We had given up on him. In fact, our father gave me the mantle of kings already because he believed Anthony would not come back. Just as I was about to ascend the throne after our father's death, from nowhere, Anthony came back with money and started to bribe all the men in council, the body of kingmakers, and they made him king instead of me because of the money he was bribing them with. Can you now see why I have been doing what I have been doing? Save me the flimsy explanations, for it doesn't worth you shedding blood. Listen to me, I did this thing for us. I am the one that's supposed to be on the throne. And I'm doing this for us as a family. I am going to become king and you stand a chance of reigning someday as king in this land. I am not interested in the throne. And now you have killed because of it. I am out permanently. What? And even you, mother. You got involved because you want to be queen? Is this why you have shown Madame Sharon so much disdain? Listen, Douglas, you need to reason and understand with us. Royalty comes with a strong aura of glory. And we are royalty already. That should be enough for us. No, shut up. Shut up and speak only what you know. Royalty resides with the very family that holds the mantle of kings. The mantle of kings is with Anthony as we speak. And I am going to reclaim it from him, become the king of this kingdom, and then reposition this land. To hell with that, father. I am going to tell the king that both of you are responsible for Leo's death. Hey, young man, listen to me, young man. I want to warn you before you make the greatest mistake of your life. You may elect to forget all things, but don't ever forget. I am still that same Damien that even demons dread. Make the mistake of getting out of this compound to say what you just said now to anybody. And I am going to forget the fact that you are my son. You are going to disappear from the surface of the earth. Not just that, your corpse will not be found to be buried. Even the soothsayers of this kingdom will not be able to communicate with your spirit and your soul because you will be made to disappear completely. Don't provoke me. Or do you want to be me? You will kill your only son because of this? Stop this, Douglas. Why are you challenging your father? But you just heard him threaten to make me disappear from the surface of the earth. But you must learn how to talk to your father. Every other person in this land fears him. Why are you measuring up with him? Why? Mother, why did you invade my office with these police officers? Inspector. Your Majesty. Are you going to listen to this murderer and disobey your DPO that sent you here? Arrest him immediately. Murderer? Mother, why are you calling me a murderer? I did not kill anyone. Young man, as I told you already, you are under arrest and you have the right to remain silent. Whatever you do or say here will be held against you as evidence in the court of law. Although you have the right to an attorney, if you don't have one, the state will provide you. What nonsense are you talking about? First is you barge into my office and the next thing you're asking me to keep silent? You will explain more when we get to the station. Officer, take him away. Now move. What is wrong with you, Sharon? Are you blind that you cannot see that Henry is responsible for Leo's death? And what proof do you have? I have a concrete proof. I mean, isn't it obvious that he's responsible for Leo's death? Is it not rather unfortunate that you have refused to appreciate the gift of God in that boy? Sharon, why are you waging war against an innocent boy who exudes nothing other than peace? Why? Anthony, it is totally depressing that you would 
accept or prefer a boy with an unknown background to your biological child. Stop calling him dad. I have accepted him to be my son. And my son forever he will be. What is wrong with this man? Both of us know the boy's background. Why is he still holding on to him? He is not the only one holding on to him. For Henry is the only brother I have. You may turn against him for whatever reason, but I will never turn against my own brother. If you try this next time, I'm going to tell my father what you've been doing with Damien, your secret lover. Has this got anything to do with your husband? My husband? I don't understand. You no longer regard him as your father. I am not the son of a murderer. He is your husband. And if he is the one that asked you to get this information from me, tell him that I am no longer interested in that relationship as I used to. The same woman your father approved for you to marry. Why would you say a thing like that? Mother, I am the one getting married, and I know who I want to marry. She used to be my choice, not anymore. And if your husband is madly interested in her, he can as well make her his second wife. Are you walking out on me? Are you not the same woman that supports her husband to murder someone just because of the throne? I don't have any reason to sit with you. And when I deem it necessary, I will call a press conference and tell them what I know. Father, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I have no hand in Leo's death. Why will I kill anyone not to talk of my own brother? I believe you. Leo may have been killed by some members of his gang. How he got to the place he was killed is what no one can explain. You know, one of the things my brother holds against me is that I don't believe in the traditional institution of this land and even the office of the chief priest. That is because I like being realistic in all my dealings. If I may say, Father, the traditional institution works. You told me you sacrificed a goat on the altar of Akwale Omomo to present me as a man of this land. You believed in that sacrifice. Why then did you say you do not believe in the chief priest? The said chief priest called me this morning and said I should come and see him. I asked Damien to go and see him but he refused. I'm sorry father, I don't understand. Why do you like delegating crucial assignments to Damien? Why? Damien is my brother. And we all know that he is well grounded when it comes to traditional matters. If only you knew what that evil man does behind you, you wouldn't even mention his name. Father, the chief priest of Inuago has summoned you. Please, you should go. He may have the solution to all this. Well, I don't know his reasons, but he told his mother he is no longer interested in the marriage. Exactly what he told me. That's why I called you. You called me for what? See, I was getting all well with your son before you came into my life and succeeded in making my man end everything with me. What do I do now? I don't know why you are asking me that question. Vision, I have never used you for free. There was never a time I stayed with you that I didn't end up giving you good money. So if actually my son has ended everything with you like you said, find another man for yourself. I'm, listen, I'm not even happy. Because the ritual that would have seen me end up as the king of Enuago did not eventually yield the desired result. What do you mean by ritual? Are you into ritual? 
What? No. Should I be doing the kind of things I've been doing if I were to be an ordinary man? Listen, I am that pot that is boiling in this kingdom. It was a very simple arrangement that my fluid must have to mix with the fluid of my son inside the same woman. I did the same thing eventually and you are the one that caused everything to crash because you kept allowing my son to come into you with condoms. Ah! Oh my God. So you have been using me all along. You've been using me for your rituals. No, no, no. It is not a negative ritual that would have seen you dead. No, I didn't plan to kill you. I don't kill anybody. It is a positive ritual that would have seen your status change. You would have been the queen of Enuago. Eventually, it didn't happen that way. And I am not available for your blames. Please. Douglas has entered it with me. And I'm pregnant for you. What do I do? You know, your biggest gain is that you opened yourself to the man that knows how to spend money. I will put one million naira in your account today. You would settle down and make a decision what you want to do with the pregnancy. Whether you are keeping it or whether you are getting rid of it. But let me tell you something. Whatever you decide to do with the pregnancy is okay by me. Have you seen why I hate this man so much? He is a complete de departure from your father. My incest we tread with caution. This is a very delicate case that can destroy your family, especially your mother and sister. We need wisdom. Harry, don't worry about me. I will know what to do. I will surely know what to do. I will leave this place. There is a rumor in the palace. The queen is sleeping with Damien, the king's brother. How is that possible? Maybe the same spirit that possessed you when you started doing your nonsense with Prince Leo has equally possessed her. Please, Chuendo, can you tell me why you called? I have told you to stop calling me when I'm at work. I sent someone to the queen with some information. What information? Have you seen the person? I have not come downstairs since morning. What information do you have? Has it anything to do with the missing prince? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you the one keeping him? Has it run off to you? Why are you not saying anything? I just told you that I fired her because she allowed her son to sleep with her in the royal kitchen. And how is that my business? The power to hire and fire domestic staff is in your hands. And I have not questioned you on that. I know. But I also told you that she's pregnant. She sent someone with the information this morning. Have you called her to tell her that you have already sent that your so-called son to his untimely death? How could you say a thing like that? How could you say that I, I, I sent my son to his untimely death? Leo was killed by the enemies of this kingdom. Sharon, finally I have gone to see the chief priest. Did your daughter tell you that? <laughs> that useless daughter of mine. She is now Henry's wife. I don't want to have anything to do with her anymore. She has become a wife to her brother, same way you have become a wife to my brother. What did you just say? My daughter has never had anything to do with her brother. The accusation that she has become his wife is in bad faith. And I further attest that you, Sharon, the one I call my wife, have severally slept with my brother Damien. If I lie, let me die. 
Denying that you have not been sleeping with Damien. If you fail to swear on this staff and give me the assurance that I need from the one I call my queen, not only will I throw you out of this palace, I will equally inform all the women of this land what their so-called queen has been doing. Why are you doing this to me? After all the years we've been together, is this your impression about me? for my husband not just that harry has just confirmed to me not only that did he attempt to sleep with sonia he has been sleeping with the queen here in this house no what how can you say that douglas i mean how can a man like my father sleep with his brother's wife no no it is so difficult to believe my dear cindy but that is exactly what they have been doing. Where is Damien? I'm sorry, my king. Did you just confirm he has been sleeping with your wife? The chief priest invited me, and I went to see him. He gave me the confirmation and told me what I must do. As we speak, Sharon is dead. What? She died on this staff because she swore she never had anything to do with Demian. I called Demian and he said he is home. Where is Demian? Demian said he is home. Oh, that means he has another home somewhere. Another home somewhere? Where could that be? What happened? I don't know. He, he screamed and started I started pleading with some strange powers to spare his life that it, it was his wife that was pushing him. I, I got confused with what he was saying. Before I could do anything, he collapsed uh, and, and died. Please, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, please spare my life. I'm going to explain everything. You owe me no explanations. If you were guilty, the same powers that killed them would have killed you. Call the undertakers. Let them handle his remains. Meet me later in the palace. We will know what to do. Nothing can stop what God has started. The people who fought in opposition against you were finally the people who triggered their own deaths. The chief priest has confirmed already that you are a son of the soil and that you are eminently qualified to rule this kingdom after me. The circumstances surrounding your bed does not count, for the gods have accepted you from bed. And they have blessed you abundantly. I therefore bless you and your wife today with the blessings of the gods of this land, even as I bid you welcome home to your palace where you belong, a place where nobody will force you to live ever again. Very much, Father. Be fruitful in all that you do. You say, you may rise.
my right I must take what is mine Oh, I am fearless Yes, I must take what is mine 